Welcome to Tech Notice, my friends. This over here is an absolutely beautiful PC, and this is called Vitamin C PC. I hope you get it from the color theme. The question is how good is it in Premiere Pro live playback performance? Well, let's find out. Let's test loads of different codecs and actually show you live how good it is. So if you plan to build something like this, you'll know how good it is. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 OEM license, then look no further. BobKeys.com is a website where you can purchase all sorts of keys and licenses for very affordable prices. With a tech notice discount, you'll be able to get the Windows 10 Pro license 25% off. To purchase the license, click on the link in the description or search for Windows 10 license on BobKeys.com. Then add the product to the cart and press proceed checkout. Remember to add the 25% discount code and complete the order. Once you have the license key, click here, here, paste in the license and you're all done. Check out popkeys.com in the description below. So if you're not familiar with this build, what we did, there's a few videos on the channel or you can check out the playlist for this one over there. There's a live build. We're testing the performance of the Pre Premiere Pro live playback of this one. Then there's a whole benchmark suit. So if you want to know like how does it perform in photo, video editing or other programs, then check that out. And then there's also a review of this. So if you're actually planning to build this, this is like my objective review of some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it, some of the things you should be looking out for. I'll leave all the parts below if you want to check them out. But without no further ado, let's jump into the Premiere Pro benchmarks then. This over here is a Sony a7S 3 footage, but this is 8-bit, you know, you, at the moment you've seen 10-bit, but this over here is an 8-bit 420 60 FPS. So if you keep an eye on these little sequence uh, names, you'll see like what it is. So this is H.264 and let's have a look. Let's, you know, press play over here and then we're going to see how well does it do. I'm going to pull, uh, let's close this one and I'm going to also pull the um, task manager up so you can see actually like what's happening over here if I'm gonna pull this drop frame indicator so as you can see right now we're playing this back at full resolution speed and it's all green like nothing there so if this is 4k as well and 60 frames per second so if you're shooting any of the mirrorless cameras something like that 4k 60 frames per second you're gonna have no problem I mean look at this timeline performance it's like smooth as butter by the way this is like the first time I'm doing this as well um, like on camera so this is new for me as well I'm doing this with every single PC that I'm testing because I think even one part of the PC could just knock some of the performance so um, let's try that out so this is 420 10-bit now not 8-bit color but 10-bit as you can see okay let's turn this full resolution we don't want half the resolution as you can see full resolution we're still very very smooth like on the timeline go whatever press play press play like I've got nothing bad to say about that this is like this is probably as good as it's gonna get really on Premiere Pro okay you're gonna see red raw I'm expecting it's gonna be better but going backwards and forwards no problem at 10 bit 420 as well now this is 10 bit 420 HS and I think this is 50 frames per second and yes this is 50 frames per second so looking at this timeline performance H.265 now You'll see in a moment, all of these codecs, as you can see, are GPU accelerated. So our CPU is not doing much because uh, these can be played back on the GPU. And it's very, very smooth as well. We're going to press play. And this is all because, you know, the GPU is actually doing the hard work over there. No frames dropped. I'm very happy with that. Now let's move on to 422, which is not hardware accelerated. And uh, looking at the playback, performance now we can see that the cpu is doing a little bit more work over there i'm just keeping an eye on that little debug led because i can see the cpu temperature over there i can see that it's it's doing much much more work but to be honest like it's not bad i can press play and now look cpu is like all the way used 100 percent but as you can see this pc is still very very quiet 24 frames per second it's a bit of a nook cracker as you can see when you play it back the CPU is well, only 20% used actually. It's when I'm scrubbing, that's when it tries to do this very, very fast. So not, not that bad. This is 10 bit 422, 60 frames per second. This is all 4K by the way, not 1080p. And playing back full resolution, 60 frames per second, zero frames dropped. That is fantastic. As you can see, our GPU is doing a little bit, but it's just doing, um, the copying in 3D and dedicated memory, but not video encoding. 
sorry, decoding when playing this back. Zero frames dropped. I'm very happy with the timeline performance. S scrubbing through is a little bit harder, but as soon as I press stop, it takes a little bit of time to like clock in, lock and stop and lock. So it's not like, not like the best, but it's not so much of the hardware, but so much of the codec actually. Let's move on to Red Raw 4K. So now 4K footage from Red Raw, full resolution playback. Oh my word, this is so smooth. Let's double check that we are playing back. Yes, Red Raw. Yes, a Red Raw again. Absolutely easy. If you're using any of this Look at that, that's that's ridiculous. Just this is ridiculous playback. It's like so smooth. I, I don't think I've ever had it so smooth. I don't think even the Threadripper was that smooth. That's absolutely easy for this PC. Let's move on to 5K. And this is dead smooth as well. Obviously there's not like a lot of movement for you to see. It took a little bit of time to start playing or think about it a little bit and then started playing. But obviously not bad at all. Full resolution, red 5K footage no problem let's move on to uh, 6k so this is b-raw 6k let's have a look that little pixel line on the screen is because i'm running the pc into the atem mini you know capture card or whatever stream you know deck uh, and then that's recorded on the other one if i'm gonna have it just straight to like the monitor it doesn't happen it's just some kind of glitch in there but, but come on that's so smooth this is two 6k b-raw clips this is three 6k b-raw clips i'm gonna press play it plays back full resolution 6k no frames dropped this is a red raw 6k now red 6k clip let's have a look full resolution playback double checking yes 6144 horizontal pixels look at that each frame is like 24 megapixels and look how smooth this is ridiculous pressing play how does it play back like no problem honestly if you're doing any 6k or less editing you're going to be absolutely fine the hardest thing is like the mirrorless camera codecs that are very compressed codecs but these ones here are fine okay let's move on to 8k now red raw 8k look at that 8192 pixels by 400 and 4320 pixels so what is that's like 30 plus megapixels 32 35 something like that oh my word this is insane absolutely crazy look at that it's like as fast as i'm moving it oh that's so 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 easy okay full resolution 8k let's press play ah. it's like the pc is like not even struggling it's just like yeah go on then Give it to me. CPU is like 99% used over here. It's still running at 77C and it's not ramping up. It's it's fine. It's completely fine. Now it is quite warm in this room at the moment as well. But look at that. Full resolution 8K. It feels like it's not even sweating doing that. So if you plan to do that in Premiere Pro, you can do it. It's fine. Canon R5. That's a little bit harder now. I think that is 422, which doesn't have hardware acceleration. 8k 30 frames per second as you can see and then let's press play on full resolution let's let's see the timeline playback at first it's like as choppy as the sony 4k 422 not so much like of the resolution difference maybe sony was slightly snappier now the pc is ramping up a little bit because trying to do that let's have a look what 27 gigabytes in used okay let's try time and performance with it like that it's a bit choppy 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 now i don't think this is gonna play it back let's press play see what happens thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking yikes 
So look at that memory, 40 gigabytes in use, 42, 43. CPU is absolutely maxed out. As you can see, GPU, only the VRAM is being used, but not the encoding or decoding. 47, 48 gigabytes used. As you can see, it's struggling to play that back at full resolution. We're dropping quite a bit of frames here. So it's not like smooth. Let's see half the resolution. Thinking, okay, uh, still a bit choppy, but you know what? I don't think anyone would be even editing this 8K on a half a resolution. So let's put it on quarter of a resolution, press play. Yeah, no problem. Check this out. Dead smooth this now. That's that for Canon R5 8K. This over here is now 12K raw from uh, Blackmagic, so B-RAW 12K. And looking at the full resolution, I mean, this is insane because like, there is not a single 4, 12K screen in the world, as far as I know. So this is meant to be shot at 12K, but then down res to 8K and then maybe exported in 8K or, you know, rescaled, reframed in 8K. Pressing play at full resolution. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, oh, yikes. 55 gigabytes in use. That's like the maximum Premiere Pro is being able to use. It's just reserving some for the other one, other system memory, but choppy, choppy. Not, not easy playback. Very, very choppy. Let's see half the resolution. Doesn't really work very choppy as well let's see quarter of resolution yeah smooth quarter of resolution and then now we're getting smooth playback even between the clips we didn't drop any frames so i'm quite happy about that i mean this is this is insane you know to be able to edit 12k on kind of a budget processor like that this is, this is crazy how smooth this is. Insane, absolutely insane. If people sometimes are wondering like, how does it work with, you know, adding an adjustment layer over here and putting some color grading on. So let's have a look at that then. Now let's move to the color tab. This is 12K. Let's put a random lot on over here. I know this is not gonna probably. It's struggling a little bit on this. Uh... Let's have a look now. What's it? Yeah, it's not as smooth as before. <laughs> okay. Red Raw is like smooth. Even at half resolution, it's quite smooth. Like with a lot on. Look at that. Let's see full resolution with a lot on. Not a problem, to be honest. Looks very, very smooth. So my friends, this is the performance of this Vitamin C PC in Premiere Pro. So if you're a video editor, hopefully this helped you to understand how good is it in performing on live playback speed on different codecs and stuff on Premiere Pro. Thanks very much guys for watching. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below. I'll meet you in the comment section below. If you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys for watching. Bye bye.